Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. I was looking for a used laptop. My price range was between 150 to 190 US dollar. Within this price range, I knew that I can get from first to fourth generation with excellent and genuine condition laptop. But my concern was to must have MSATA slot. So I can utilize my MSATA hard drive of 240GB and I guess few laptop machine in 3rd or 4th generation have MSATA slot. Further generation laptop are having SATA M2. 3rd or 4th generation laptop will be okay for my work that I do. And of course, I cannot buy 5th generation in price range of 190 US dollar. It will cost more than that. Harris showed two laptops of fourth generation which was a good choice. One was Dell Latitude E6440i7 and the other was Dell Latitude E5440i5 with 2GB NVIDIA graphic card. Both were fourth generation laptop machine and both having MSATA slot. I thought to install Windows on MSATA of 240GB and will boot from it and installing two more hard drives of 2.5 inch, one in a primary hard drive slot and other in hard disk caddy which will replace optical drive. So in this way, I will get three hard drive space in one of the Dell laptop. E6440 with 4GB RAM and 250GB of hard drive was costing around 188 US dollar. Where E5440 with graphic card with 4GB RAM and 250GB hard drive was costing near 175 US dollar. As I was looking to both Dell laptop and was thinking which one to buy, suddenly Harris, my friend, brought two cup of tea for drink. While drinking and enjoying tea and having chit chat with Harris, suddenly my eyes was stopped. Keep looking on Dell Precision. This was Precision M6600 i5 second generation, having 1 GB of graphic card with full HD resolution of 17.3 inch screen size. I found that Dell Precision 17 inch laptop have two hard drive slot plus one hard drive can be fit in optical area by inserting caddy with hard drive. So we can install three hard drives of 2.5 inch. Although this machine have MSATA slot too, but unfortunately battery was not genuine. According to Harris, Dell Precision laptops genuine battery duration is less than two hours and with ungenuine battery may give hardly one hour of backup. Dell Precision M6600 price was around 180 US dollar. This was a good choice but I didn't go for it because of not genuine part. Then Harris went to check laptops of 17 inch screen size and finally got one for me which is HP Elite Book 8770W. This giant dude can handle maximum amount of hard drives. It was in excellent condition having 17.3 inch screen size with new genuine battery with a big size of charger for charging the battery. Usually these big laptops comes with big chargers also. After looking the specs of HP EliteBook 8770W which was Core i5 3340M CPU 3rd generation of 2.7 GHz processor having 4 GB RAM with 250 GB hard drive and also 1 GB of AMD Fire Pro M4000 graphic card which was costing me around 170 US dollar cheaper than Dell Precision M6600 i5 second generation. I decided to buy EliteBook 8770W with few extra things which was an extra amount of 8GB RAM means I will get maximum of 12GB RAM. 2TB of hard drive to be installed in hard drive slot 1, 1TB one hard drive to be installed in hard drive slot 2, 240GB SSD Kingston to be installed in hard drive caddy by removing an optical drive and 240GB of MSATA in slot of MSATA. In this way, I will get around 3TB amount of hard drive space plus 12GB of RAM. 
I realize that my need will get fulfilled if I go for Elite Book 8770W with this packs. I install MSATA first at shop and install Windows 764 bit on it. Then reach back to home and start installing rest hard drives. These are used machines and sometimes missing things from inside. Like this HP EliteBook 8770W is missing both hard drive caddy tree brackets. I was told by the shopkeeper that he got this laptop in this condition like missing both caddy tray brackets but there is an alternate way for fixing both hard drives in 8770W laptop which is to keep a piece of a paper or a tissue paper under both hard drive first then attach hard drives then again keep a piece of a paper or tissue paper at front side of both hard drives in this way the hard drives will get fixed and will not move after putting back hp 8770w back cover yes i did the same thing and things got fixed solidly then insert my 240 gb ssd in hard disk caddy at optical drive and put the cover back now it is time to switch on my laptop to check either all hard drives will get detected at same time or not yes all the hard drives are detected happy to see all of it now let me show you that first msata of 240 gb having windows 7 operating system second partition 1 of 194 gb of kingston ssd of 240 gb third partition 2 of 29 gb of same kingston ssd of 240 gb fourth partition 1 of 589 gb of 1 tb hard drive fifth Partition 2 of 341 GB of 1 TB hard drive. Sixth, Partition 1 of 1.43 TB of 2 TB hard drive. And seven, Partition 2 of 390 GB of 2 TB hard drive. So I have a big storage to save my work using HP EliteBook 8770W 17.3 inch laptop and also having 12 GB of RAM with i5 third generation processor. Hopefully my rendering will get smoother and faster while using this machine with this specs. So friends. What do you think about this packs of HP EliteBook 8770W? Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Do like my video and keep sharing it. See you again. Goodbye.